What's going on everybody? I hope you guys are super excited for this video. I'm really excited. So we have been waiting for the thumbnail of this video, you guys. It's, it's some pretty cool stuff. So I did tell you guys we've been waiting for some stuff. And the thing we've been waiting for has finally showed up. Give me just a second really quick and let me go get it. You're probably like, what's in the box? So, how's this thing open? So I have been waiting for this for almost a month now. Basically a month. And it's one of those things where while I was waiting for this, I can't do anything else. Like I can't put the radiators where it's supposed to go. I can't do the inner pumping. I can't do anything. So, if some of you guys follow me. Gosh, dang, let's put this thing on the ground. If some of you guys follow me on Instagram, you guys know. Well, I guess I mentioned on here too as well. I sold my old intake. So, obviously that means we got a new one. Now, before I get you too excited, don't get too excited. It's nothing like super fancy baller stuff. This is just a Holly single plane, but it's still nicer than what we had. So this is what we've been waiting for. This thing right here, just this little intake. We've been waiting this long for this intake. It's ridiculous, uh, but it's okay. Let me put it on the car and show you guys what it looks like. Before we do that, actually, let me just mention something really quick before we get to it, because in the thumbnail, I'm sure you can see it. Yes, we are doing some titanium stuff. Now, I'd like to give a huge shout out to Tycon. Thank you for being a sponsor of the RX-7 and thank you guys for uh, sending us some parts for the RX-7. I really appreciate it. If you guys need any titanium material or anything titanium, be sure to go check out the website, go hit them up. The website's super easy to use and they're really good dudes over there. So I appreciate you guys a lot. Thank you guys. I hope you guys are ready for what we got in store for the RX-7. I went with an intake like this because it's really deceiving but my car comes down to a point very fast so like when you get to right here there's like no clearance for the hood so this will stick it like a little bit more back and I have a lot of room back here with the elbow on it um, and also I really like these they're they're kind of cool and I feel like the single plane definitely helps like distribute the air better um, at least what I've been told at Nick Eggers with uh, performance turbo systems. He was uh, telling me that I should have switched to one like this a long time ago. So I could have got like a real low pro one from Holly, but I don't know, we'll see how this does. So this was honestly a pretty cheap option. So of course to go with the new intake, we had to get a new elbow. This is just a Holly elbow with their Holly intake. And this is a uh, Snake Eater 102 millimeter throttle body. So this is a big old girl. I do have it flipped upside down right here because it has this big spot right here. I'm trying to get as much hood clearance as possible. And like, I think I'm still gonna have to space the hood up a little bit, so. It's all good, race car life. Not gonna lie though, like, the thought of not putting a hood back on it kinda sounds cool because of all the cool fab work it's gonna have. But at the same time, like, it'll probably just mess up the cool fab work not having a hood on it, so. I guess we'll probably put a hood back on it. Yeah, this is a new intake setup. I'm really excited. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, start working on the intercooler piping. Okay, I know the whole point of this was to put the hood back on, but to be fair, I don't think the hood is going back on unless we do some type of cowl or something like that. So I don't know what I wanna do yet. I don't know if I wanna do a cowl or let's like cut the hood for where it's gonna stick out. I'm not too sure yet, but finally the piece I've been waiting for for so long. It's been like a month, finally did get it. And uh, now we can start doing the fun stuff. So now we're gonna move on to the, to the titanium. Uh, before we do that, actually, I wanted to show you guys the hot side piping and then kind of what I'm thinking for the cold side. So the hot side is gonna be three and a half inch and then the cold side is gonna be four inch. This kind of what the uh, hot side's looking like. It's just got some pie cuts over here. And as you guys did see, I kind of forgot to take this out of the, out of the video, but I did get a Sirocco radiator. Uh, for the RX-7. I also do kind of forgot to take this out too. I have the other core that's going to sit over here somewhere. Once you figure out where the intercooler is going to go, we can figure out where that core is going to go. So 
So now we get to move on to the fun part of the titanium. I want to show you guys what's in the Ticon box. I already have the four inch titanium charge pipe done. I'm not going to lie to you guys, I had a uh, family medical emergency on Saturday and I really wasn't in the right mindset to film anything. So, so now I keep my mind busy and build the four inch titanium piece. So that is why there's no titanium in the box. Um, just take my word for it, it welds really nice and it comes all nicely packaged. It's all sealed up so that way nothing can get to it. And the pie cuts are really nice as you guys will see here in just a little bit. I had Carlos come over and uh, got a bunch of footage of me kind of fabbing it up, welding it, and then the end stuff. So let me show you guys what's in the Tycon box. So check it, they sent some really nice gloves. These are their Tycon gloves. Uh, they are the nitrile or something. They're coated so that way you can touch the titanium without smudging them everywhere. So thank you guys for that. This, I believe, is some pouch. I don't know what this is. I'll open this here in a little bit. This is the uh, Tycon shirt that I showed you guys earlier. It um, doesn't fit me right, so I might have to hit them back up and get a uh, different shirt, a different size. Got this cool little, I don't know if you can see this, but I got this cool little keychain thing. I believe that's what this is, a little keychain that I can color and uh, anodize. So that's really cool. And then the other thing I believe, oh man, they really hooked it up. They gave me a bunch of stuff. Send me a bunch of stickers. I'll have to put those everywhere. Dang, they hooked me up. That's like, that's like almost a quarter inch worth of stickers. So, got a keychain, and then, oh, I didn't even see these guys over here. Got even some big stickers. So, shout out to Tycon. And then this is the banner. So, we'll finally be able to hook, put like some more stuff up in the shop. These next clips will be the B-roll that Carl Scott while I was uh, messing around and fabbing that upper titanium charge pipe. I hope you guys enjoy it. Hope you guys enjoyed those clips. 
of building the titanium piece right here. So this is a four inch titanium, it's one mil thick. It's really hard to get any type of video or pictures of the welds, but they look really cool because they're really shiny and silvery. So I'd, it's like impossible to get it to focus. So I'm sorry, but take my word for it, they look, it looks pretty cool. So I think honestly it's almost like a little bit too much for this engine bay like <laughs> it kind of makes all the other fab work look kind of kind of crappy but it's all right though I'm happy with it got some other cool things that should match it and uh, not need too much like purplish blue stuff so this is what we've been waiting for for forever I was just really excited to finally do some titanium stuff uh, now keep in mind it's been about a week since I first played the titanium so definitely gonna get better at it uh, I'm pretty happy with it. There's some things I could have done better, but I'm, I'm happy with it. So I'm sorry for not filming more of the process, but sometimes it's just kind of how it goes. So I'm really excited. Uh, I don't really, I'm not really waiting on much more. I have a couple more little surprises that are coming, but we will, we will get to that when we get there. So I'm gonna go ahead. I already have the intercooler thing all done. I'm gonna get out of here for now. I don't have time to weld this stuff up today. So I'm just gonna edit this video for you guys and uh, go home. So. Let me know what you guys think about the RX-7 down below. We are waiting on parts for the Integra, so it might be a little while before we do something on that. Uh, I have some other projects coming in this week to film my week though, so if I don't get another video made, I'm sorry. Uh, but just know we are working towards getting the RX-7 done, so I appreciate it. Thank you to Tycon again for uh, helping us out with the titanium and uh, becoming a sponsor of the car. So if you guys ever need to do some titanium, go check them out. Their stuff is awesome and they're really easy to deal with, so I appreciate it. I appreciate all you guys. Uh, we'll see you guys in the next video.